Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Sharifa, and I'll be the admin for this um, room, as well as Yichen as my time, uh, my backup, and Chris as my timekeeper. Um, overall, I'm going to introduce the judges now. Uh, we have uh, Ms. Yasmin Rashid, Sustainability Director from Land Use Malaysia, as well as uh, Ms. Maya Zaharuddin, the Senior Associate at Teach for Malaysia. We're honored to have you here in this room uh, to be the judge for our case studies challenge. Uh, so we'll be moving on to group, the first group that will present, uh, group 10. I'll pass the note to you. Yep, thank you. Sorry, can I clarify? This is group 10? Yes. Uh, judges, just want to ask one question. Do you guys have the scoring rubric ready? Yes, I do. I do. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Right. Quick question, but it says group one, three, six, seven here. Am I looking at the right one? Room four? Room four, yep. Yeah. Room four, oh. that's uh, multiple groups. I will start with uh, group 10. Okay, I don't see 10. I see group one, three, five, seven. Oh, that's a uh, room one. There's, we're in room four for case two. Um, sorry, Fa. Even the room four tab says group one, three, five, and seven. Do you see me highlighting this? Yeah, yeah. I Maya. see the same thing as you, yes, huh? No, hi, Maya. Yes. <laughs> oh, are you in a different room? Uh, no. You're in the right five. room, but you name uh, yeah. the groups differently in yeah. the in oh, the okay. scoring sheet. Yeah. Shall I change it to group ten? Uh, is it in the scoring rubric? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, okay. All right, we shall begin. Yeah. Um uh for room uh, are you for the spreadsheet? Uh, may I ask Miss Maya and uh, Miss Yasmin? Uh it's in the spreadsheet number four, right? Room four, yeah, a group. 10, 12, 11, 40, yeah. Thank you. We can start our... We can start, right? Yes. Um... Okay. Okay, thank you. Go for it. Okay. Can I will start now? Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, hello and good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time to attend our press conference. I, Lia Wendy, Chief Operating Officer, alongside with Wan Pazwas, Chief Finance Officer, will be representing our company, Speed Care Airlines, to address some issues regarding our company. Next slide. It caught our attention that the policy in the collective agreement were not considered on our female employees in Speed Care Airlines. I mentioned. A backlash occurred among female employees because the policy did not reflect an inclusive work culture that should be fair to all genders. Therefore, changes on the existing policies are needed. We want to emphasize here that we appreciate our female employees a lot, which is why we are introducing a few policy changes to cater towards this. For Aina, we decided, we decided not to resign her, but, and she may follow the benefits of pregnancy but she will be penalized by cutting her wages and bonus for concealing her pregnancy. For the manager, we will not take any action because he is only referring to the terms and conditions of the agreement, but we will take action if we receive any complaints that he is discriminating our fellow employees, especially female employees. Now, I'll pass the time to Faswaz. I'm sorry. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me pull back. Okay. So thank you, Wendy, for that. Uh, like I said, uh, like we said just now, we want to emphasize that we care about um, our female employees. So these are the policy changes that we're proposing. So the first policy is in terms of employees' welfare. 
So for employees welfare, we are focusing on transparency towards our employees, and we are we want to address mental health uh, among our employees. And then the second policy that we are proposing or we are changing is in terms of maternity policy. So the highlights of the poli of this policy is that first, uh, the stewardess uh, uh, or Aina in this case uh, will not resign. Uh, we will not uh, put them off if they become pregnant. And then we also have. Uh, put on upgraded pregnancy benefits and we also uh, revised the policy to become uh, relaxed uh, towards our students. So moving on. Uh, so uh, we, we hear you and we care. So we have decided to update our terms and conditions in our collective agreement for all our female employees. Uh, so for our employees, they are allowed to get married in any point of time because before we haven't, we did not, uh, we do not allow our students uh, to get to get married, especially. Uh, but they need to inform the company at once, and so if they do get married and they uh, they they will not be allowed to get pregnant in between three years. I'll explain why after this, and then the students must inform the company immediately of their pregnancy during any period. By any means, we do not mean to intervene in your personal affairs or whatsoever. But we are doing this because we want to ensure first, we want to ensure that we have enough uh, steady uh, work, uh, we have a steady supply of, uh, uh, of work, uh, work staff for our uh, students. And then second, we want to ensure that yeah, if you do get pregnant, then we want to ensure that the, you, are in perfect, uh, uh, you are in perfect health and your uh, your health will not get affected when you go work on our, uh, when you go being a student on, on, on our, uh, yeah, on, on our airlines, okay? So these are the reasons why. But, that's like, but we do have a few, uh, what do you call, as what you call, a few rules uh, that we uh, imply. So if you, if you do get pregnant within the first three years of employment, and if concealed pregnancy is found, which, is, which are considered violations of the collective agreement, therefore punishment in form of wage and bonus deduction and cut off annual leave will be imposed. So the punishments can be any of the following upon the decision made, of course, by the management or the executives. So the punishment can be in a form of 30% cut in their wages, uh, uh, no bonuses, or a maximum cut of two weeks of annual leaves. So this depends on the seriousness of the offense. So should the offense cause liability to our company, then the punishment will be higher. But if, if it does not cause any liability, then we'll uh, definitely uh, try to uh, minimize the, the punishment as, maximum, uh, as minimum as possible. So let's move on to the policy change uh, for employees' welfare, which will be uh, introduced by Wen Li. Okay, we have received backlash from our employees and we are so sorry to our employees that they had to undergo these difficulties. To overcome the problems, we made a policy change for the employees' welfare. We will be providing psychology and counselling department under HR. Employees can voice out their frustration, mental health-related problems. Furthermore, feedbacks for unsatisfied policy can also be voiced out through the department. Moreover, every employee involved in a backlash case are required to attend counselling session every week for two months. We will also increase public engagement by having an open dialogue with the executive. Establishing a two-way communication between executive and employee will help all employees feel confident that they have a question or concern. The freedom to ask questions will solve problems faster and increase productivity down the line. Now, thank you, Faswat. All right, thank you, Eli. So. Now, when Lee has uh, described on the policy on uh, welfare, uh, so I'll be describing uh, in depth on the policy change on maternity policy. So for our maternity policy, we are glad to inform you guys that, uh, that we are opening, uh, this policy will apply to all our fem female uh, employees, which includes stewardess who are pregnant during their employment at our company. So the pregnancy benefits uh, among of them are uh, 90 days of maternity leave uh, and then 60 days of uh, 60 day, the first 60 days of maternity they will uh, receive full payment uh, but so these two features have been uh, applied throughout you know airline companies that we know but we are introducing something new which is we are we are uh, 
uh, introducing, uh, uh, you know, for the final 30 days of their maternity leave, uh, our uh, employees will be uh, entitled to get 60% base salary throughout the final 30 days of their maternity leave. And if they apply for extra, uh, then they, it will be considered as an unpaid leave. Okay. And then we're also introducing uh, a new uh, concept, which is a childcare stay. So this, for this one, uh, employees who have children before the age of three, they can apply for childcare stay for a maximum period of two years. So this means that they can actually apply for leave where they can you know, just stay home and, and take care of their childcare. And they would uh, be entitled with a 60% base salary as well. And then we're also introducing a new... Uh, service which is called panel nurseries so i think you might be familiar with clinics they have panels so we are also applying that concept to our company where we collaborate with nurseries and we call them panel nurseries so those who are working uh, and and do not have places to to send them to they can send them uh, they can send their children to our panel nurseries whereby we will actually uh, uh we will actually cover all expenses so that's for our panel nurseries. However, for nurseries that are not on the on our panels, uh, claim forms can be uh, claim forms will be provided to our employees, so they can claim a maximum amount of one thousand, and they can actually do this for uh, one year. We actually provide them for one year. So for more information of the nurseries uh, that are collaborating with us, you can obtain them from the human resources department. However, for those who do not who are not on the list of collaboration. Uh, employees are to provide clear information of the nursery that they're applying to and the payment details. So this panel nursery service uh, is only available for our employees who are living in Malaysia. So moving on to the during pregnancy. So this we are highlighting on students given the, given the dangers of their work. So to show that we care, we uh, decided to temporarily, uh, they made temporary transfer to groundwork. So uh, you know, for those who are, uh, have more five years than more than five years working experience, they can be transferred to higher uh, higher positions such as head office management or admin work. And those who are, who are under five years, they can be transferred to more general uh, work like general ground staff or admin work manager. Of course, this is uh, uh, this is uh, after they pass a series of performance written test or interview assessment. Okay. So for, uh, yeah, again, for high positions, a permanent work contract will be given. And then salaries will be according to the jobs that they're assigned to. So moving on to the next one. Uh, so for postpartum or for those who are, uh, uh, when they have delivered, they may choose depending on their capabilities and situations because we understand that our students, you know, they may not be in perfect health to be continuous students. So they may choose ground handling, flight crew, or they may choose to be reassessed for students, but they, may, they must be uh, reassessed uh, competence, body, and weight. So yeah, uh, thank you for that. Uh, so now I'll open a question and answer session. Ten, 10 minutes is up, so we'll pass the floor to the judges to ask questions. Um, I could be ignorant, but was there a mental health issue in the mentioned in the case study? Uh, I we try. we would assume that uh, you know when workers they are upset with uh, Aina's uh, what do you call uh, our management uh, firing Aina, so they showed a poor work performance. So we like to think that that could relate to their mental health as well because they don't have uh, platforms to uh, let their frustrations out. And when Aina was fired, was it purely because of the pregnancy or do you feel that there were actually um, legit reasons for that termination? For instance, mm. occupational health and safety? For this particular uh, reason, I would like to think that um, uh, they are uh, they are upset because they they fear for their job security. So they fear that if they got pregnant, then they would be sacked like Aina did. And we think that this is uh, this is not 
going to be a good uh this is not a good place to start off because you know pregnancy itself is a human right so we think that you know uh firing someone because of uh because of uh them uh taking uh you know getting pregnant is not necessary so we decided that's why we decided to go on this route Want to say something? Sorry, yes, I need to say something. Okay, for this case, for this case, um, I think the main point is for the pregnancy because her job is a stewardess. There's a high risk when she is pregnant and then she's still flying for a long term, a long shift. So, uh, this is the main point for the uh, for why we will resign her for the first agreement. But uh, only that after we realize this is true tricks so only we just relax it, it but we still uh, pretend the new comes new stewardess they cannot pregnant for three years and then for the psychology departments uh, it's not it's not just for mental health because this is part of the employee bonus so they will can have some uh, other other like other confused they will also have can go for the counseling departments there's not only uh, just for these cases they'll be for future thanks irene um, i'm conscious of another judge so maybe over to you maya yeah thanks jasmine all right so i have a question also on the mental health part right um very clear on irene's explanation on it's not just you know just one thing it can be several things depending on your problem. Um, but um, when I look at this problem, I don't see the problem of mental health among the staff. I see it's a managerial issue here. Um, so um, just coming from uh, my point of view, my question would be, are there any actions taken on the managerial level or the middle, middle management to curb these issues from further happening? Because um, it seems like Aina was stuck. Uh, she didn't have an answer. She didn't have a, a proper um, decision to make. Right, everything she does will, you know, um, hit her back in the end. So, um, is there any actions being curbed for the middle management part? Okay, for the for the manager, for the manager who, who in this case, actually, we. Um, sorry, to... Irene. Um, if I could clarify, not that particular manager, but overall towards the middle management part of the company. Mm. Okay. If they have any like gender discrimination in whole company or like uh, in between the management, they will go go on for the uh, counselings and after the assessment assessment by the counsellor, there's that they really have this kind of thoughts or they really did like something is not really good. Then only we will take our actions. We will baby Denise or like cut off her cut cut off cut off his wages. Yes. We do like um attentions keep our attentions in this kind of cases like female discriminations or anything. But for this case, we didn't realize this is a, a very strict female discriminations because for the major they just uh, follow the agreements. Yeah. But it's future. Yes. We got the complaint. Yes, we will take action. Um, any other questions? I think time is up for uh, the Q and A session. Now uh, we're moving on. Before we move on to the next group, I would like to have the judges to take time to deliberate the results. And for the next group, please be prepared with your presentation. How long do we have to deliberate? And I don't think it's appropriate uh, I'm, to I'm, do it in front of Book 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have five minutes, uh, but just uh, fill in the scoring rubric. And if you have additional comments, uh, we already put like a space under uh, the scoring rubric just to add on anything.
for the next team. We'll start your presentation in three minutes. One minutes left for the next presentation. Next group, please be ready. Twenty seconds. Group twelve, please be ready. Yeah. Okay, you can start now. Group twelve. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Sharifa. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera and a very good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ezin Shreeman, is the CEO for Speedcare Airline. Today we will touch on the case that took place recently, but before we dive in into it, allow me to introduce my team members. Here I'm accompanied by my C-suit. I have Nicole as my CFO, Fadila as my CHRO, Chi as CTO, and lastly Naziha as the COO. Our presentation, uh, next. Our presentation will be split into five parts. Uh, firstly is the presentation, it includes introduction, organizational chart, key issues and problem statement, new company policies and system, and lastly is followed by the Q&A session. Next. A little background about our company. We are founded on the 31st of December, year 2000. We are, uh, uh, sorry, we're a private national airline that flew mostly domestic flights, but also some international flights. Our HQ is located in Penang International Airport. And we're, at the moment, we have over 3,000 employees. Next. This is our organizational chart. Next. Okay, since our judges were already introduced with our case study, we will dive right in into our reactions, changes as well as improvisation that we will implement. In our opinion, this issue started by our company having a biased collective agreement towards their pregnant flight attendants that causes industrial disharmony. This has sparked widespread concern about uh, job security among female employees, fueling their resentment towards management by lowering their work performance. Uh, the company's performance and customer service have suffered as a result of this right. Um, next. First of all, before we'd like to explain about the solution for this issue, um, we would like to offer our most sincere apologies to the employees that had been treated unfairly prior to this case. Uh, once again, uh, please allow us to apologize for our grave mistake. Uh, we regretted it so very much. Hopefully, um, by the end of this press conference, we can regain the industrial disharmony in our workplace and also to clarify all the rights and responsibilities of the company as well as the employees. For the introduction of new employees and system, I'll pass it on to my CTO, Ms. Chi. 
Yes, thank you, Azrin. At Speedcare Alliance, we value each and every individual in our company. And as a woman myself, I also fully understand the hardship of nurturing a newborn baby. Hence, we would like to introduce some of the new changes to our policy in hope to aid our employees who are preparing for the pregnancy. So for an overview, we have made mainly four changes, which includes having a pregnancy policy, addition of paternity leave, introduction of a new system, and finalizing the collective agreement. First, I will go into the pregnancy policy. The pregnancy shall be reported as soon as the employee has confirmed with the doctor on the pregnancy. And also failure to report pregnancy will cause action to be taken. This is due to the fact that we really prioritize our employee safety and hope for the safety of the mother and the child too. Regarding the maternity leave, both paid and unpaid maternity leave will be provided. Employees will be able to apply for a two months pre-pregnancy leave and also a two months post-pregnancy leave. If needed, we will also provide our employees with unpaid maternity leave for up to six months. This consists of two months of pre-pregnancy leave and breastfeeding leave for up to four months. Next, I'd like to explain about the change in job scope for flight attendants after pregnancy. Since working on air during pregnancy will lead to potential health risks, to ensure that we are always providing the safest environment to our workers, we will only allow our flight attendants to work on air during the first trimester of pregnancy, which is the first three months. Okay. Still, that we highly recommend that our flight attendants to change to the ground duty. This includes a variety of job scopes, such as the operation department, sales and marketing department, and reservations and ticketing department. The changes will be managed by our professional HR team based on the potential and skill of the individual. We are also delightful to announce that we will be offering a variety of compensation and benefits to our pregnant flight attendants. This includes employment insurance, maternity and pregnancy insurance, health consultation, and all of these will be comp complementary benefits to the pregnant flight attendants. Also for special cases such as miscarriage, compensation will also be provided. Although we do hope that such unfor unfortunate cases will not happen. Lastly, we will also allow our flight attendants to take leave from the leave bank if needed. Okay, moving on to the second change, we will be introducing paternity leave to an employee whose spouse has delivered a child. We believe that fostering with children is really important in maintaining a harmony family. Thus, we'll be offering paid paternity leave for up to 14 days. Besides, our employee can also apply for a cut down on working hours during one consecutive month after the delivery of baby. Okay, next on, the third changes that we'll be implementing in our policy is an introduction to a whole new system. Firstly, our technology team will be working on an application to ease our employee on almost every matter in their work. So through this application, employees will have to uh, have the access to services such as insurance, salary matters, and also health checks. This application will also be an important bridge of communications in between employees and this company, where they can raise their concerns or also a grievance in a simple way through this app. All the grievance raised through the application will be managed seriously by our HR team. As for the employment and training administration, we will further improve the existing system that we already had by adding special training costs to our fellow employees and they return from a long break. Do note that to balance out the workforce due to changes in job scope of pregnant employee, we will also promote some of our ground staff to work on air and relevant training will be provided so that they can provide the best service to our customers. Okay, lastly, on the collective agreement, I will pass on to Asrin to explain about the timeline. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Chi. So please allow me to explain about the timeline for our new policies. So pretty much like the same, like um, same like the vaccines, implementing something new will require a new, uh, it will require a few phases. So in implementing a new system and also a new policy, it will require a few phases. Includes uh, planning, um, organizing, actuating, controlling, and lastly evaluating. So here we have split the timeline into four phases. So the first phase is uh, have actually taken place before this press conference where we collect the data based on the national policy and also discuss it within our C-suite. And lastly, we make a draft of the policy, which is the one that we have presented today. The second phase will take place right after this press conference 
where we will conduct a survey to get the employees' opinion, uh, discuss about the um, collective agreement with the um, trade union, and lastly, get the, trade, the actual trade agreement signed. Uh, the third phase is actually the actuating phase, where we enforce, implement, and run the policy and training system. Here, we also introduce the two new insurance, which is first the maternal and pregnancy insurance, and also the medical insurance. Lastly, is phase four, which is the uh, controlling and evaluating phase. Uh, here, we will continue to review our policy and system. And lastly, we, here, we will also start a new uh, R&D team to launch the Wellbeing app. Next. Okay, so new policy will surely cost our company. Uh, new, expected, uh, new expenses may include from on-the-job training, uh, paid leave, and also the two insurance, which is maternal and pregnancy, and also the health insurance. And lastly, we may, we may also need some temporary workers. Next. Um, although we do expect some losses uh, for the first few years, we think that this is a good investment for our employees, especially for their well-being. Uh, because uh, the employees' uh, employees' well-being will then reflect upon their customer service, hence also reflect upon the company's performance. Um, we will expect around uh, we will, we will expect a loss around two to five percent at the start of the implementation, which is the part three in the phase three. I'm sorry. Next. Uh, we thank you for your endless support in our effort to provide the best environment of our employee. I'm sorry, best environment for our employee. Uh, before we end our presentation, we would like to give a closing statement. Um, Aina, if you're watching this, we are sorry and we'll be delighted for you to come back. That concludes our presentation for New Policies and System. Now we will open the Q&A session. Uh, so please, uh, judges, if you want to ask any questions, we'll be happy to answer. I don't actually have any questions. Uh, that good presentation, thank you. No questions from my side as well. Thank you. Since the judges doesn't have any question, I'll open the Q and A session to the floor to other participants to ask questions to group uh, to this group. Uh, if you don't mind, could I ask one question? Yeah, go ahead. So the family training, uh, the funny family planning that you introduced to the employees, does that mean like, uh, is there any limits or like any approximate timeline you give to the employees, say maybe three years, one child, or is it their own choice and uh, the company will try to accommodate? Uh, I'll pass it on to my uh, C-suite, maybe the HR. Sorry, can you comment? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. So the uh the policy and family uh family planning that you guys introduced, are there any limits on uh the employees? Like uh for example, they can only have a certain number of children in a certain number of time period, or it's just uh they are free to do so, and the uh, the airline will accommodate them. I see. All right. Okay. So since we are planning out during the phase three for the trial and everything, right? So it's not that we don't really know how to expect, it's just that we, okay, obviously we do want to limit their own uh, personal affairs. It's up to them, it's their right to have their baby. But I believe that, um, I believe that pregnancy can't be controlled so, okay, uh, how do I put this? Uh, okay, all right, okay. So during the trial run, we are currently just figuring out this, this, uh, this policy. But for now, the autonomy we're giving them is to work. Do you, you get me for now? So uh, we are going to definitely try our best to provide the best solution and they can just they are and we're trying to we're trying to help them and i believe there's not there's not a case really about that did i answer your question um, oh, no. Adila, sorry can yeah. i interrupt just a while yes, yes, okay please, to add yes, on, on what fadila have explained yes we have taken the consideration of having the second child and the third child like what uh, John Chong has asked us, 
Um, okay, um, for now, our plan is we have provide this benefits to the first child and maybe we were going to provide a little bit of a less benefit to the second child and also following to the third child because we we do them as a c suite we didn't want to like um them to like you know misuse the benefits that we give them yes this is our opinion i hope that answer your questions yeah, yeah and nicole Yes, I would like to talk it up because remember, phase three, we are trying this new policy. We are also enforcing this new policy. And with every policy, comes reviewing and also checking whether this policy, whether it really fits into our company and our culture, and also whether it, our employees are also having better feedback for this, for this policy as well. So, yes, we will do check in on our employees and we do check in also our C suite staff and see whether this policy actually goes well with our trade union as well as the customers and also our services as well. Okay. And you guys mentioned that you will do job rotation or uh, employ temporary workers uh, to accommodate for the shortage, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that is all my question. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shul. Thank you so much, Thank Sam you. Chong. Thank you. The time is up for our Q&A session. Um, I'll give time five minutes for the judges to deliberate the results. Group 12, you can stop sharing your slides so the next group can uh, start and prepare their presentation. Thank you. Just as a reminder, the um, participants that presented should not be the one answering the Q&A session. So group 14, please do take notes. And um, if, if the presenter is answering the question, um, um, we'll deduct five marks from your total scores.
the group 14, uh, one minute left before, before you start your presentation. So please be ready. Hello, can you hear me? Um, is my mic working? Yes. Just, just it's okay. Thank you. Loud and clear. All right. Testing, Anna. <laughs> May I start? All right, time's up. Uh, are we ready? Yes. Um, group 14, please do start your presentation. Good afternoon, everyone. We are from group 14. Today, we'll be present about case study number two and we present ourselves as the executives of Speedcare Airlines. I am Amira, the CEO of Speedcare Airlines, and I will be addressing the incident that has happened and introduce the policy changes that has been planned. And I am also holding the CTO position. Zhen Chong, our COO, and he oversees the company's daily operations. Alia, our CHRO, and is responsible for our employees' welfare. Due to unexpected circumstances, our CEO CFO cannot make it today, and Zhen Chong will be taking, taking over the CFO position. Next slide, please. Today, we will talk about the problem statement, introduce two policy changes, introduce a compensation and rehiring scheme, manager briefing and team check-in, and we will be receiving questions at the end. Next slide, please. I will be summarizing the event, the incident that has occurred recently. Next slide. Aina, our great big employee, a flight stewardess in this Speedcare Airlines was dismissed recently due to the terms and conditions of the airline employment agreement. The collective agreement required all of our, our stewardesses in the grade B category to resign if they become pregnant, and the airline's manager reserves the right to terminate their services. However, Aina refused, and her termination by her manager has caused more scrutiny on this particular agreement. This has caused a great deal of backlash among the airline employees as the policy does not reflect proper equality and negatively impacted their performance at work. We apologize to all the affected and truly regret this matter. Therefore, our airlines will review the terms and conditions and make policy changes to address this issue. Next slide, please. Great B stewardesses of Speed Care Airlines are tied to a biased policy that forces their termination due to pregnancy. This promotes gender discrimination and puts women in an unfair position between work and family. Aina's recent termination worsens employee and public trust towards the company in upholding employee rights and values. Next slide, please. The first policy change that we plan is the Equality, Diversity, and Inclusion Committee, or better known as the EDI Committee. Next slide, please. The EDI Committee is a task force of diverse staff members who are responsible for helping bring about the cultural and possibly ethical necessary changes for our company. This committee consists of representatives from our executives, employees, and external consultants, which we recruit from outside of the company, such as CEDA, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, and we will also recruit from the Human Resources Ministry from the government. This is to ensure that this committee will help us adhere to the local and global SOPs. With this, there will be no discrimination in the making of the new policy. The representatives of each employee included in this committee will be rotational. This committee will immediately review current incident and work on unbiased renewed employment agreement of all employees. They will also guide sustainable changes and advice on EDI issues concerning both personnel and practices. They represent our employees' voice to oversee future policy decisions to prevent future similar incidents. Next, please. The second policy change that we have planned is the open and transparent policy. Next, please. This policy encourages our employees' transparency with their family plans so we can plan ahead of time. This is to prevent sudden employee shortage in the future. If the job rotation incurs an employee shortage, we can employ contract workers for the period. In addition, the EDI committee will also advise them on their family planning. 
This policy will also ensure a safe space for complaints to be sent to our HR or EDI committee through an anonymous online form. We will immediately work on a new employment contract that accommodates both male and female employees. Everyone is compulsory to sign a contract that contains the updated policies, and all of our employees will get the same treatment to ensure no discrimination happens again in the future. We will also work on flexible parental leave guidelines, working hours, and packages for all of our employees. On top of these policy changes, we also would like to introduce other improvements in our company, which will be explained by our, by our CHRO, Alia. Thank you, Mira. Uh, now I will present about compensation and rehiring scheme. We believe Aina is not the only employee to be terminated prematurely due to this agreement. So we would like to introduce the compensation and rehiring scheme for all affected employees like Aina. Next slide, please. Okay, if the employee wants to return to their position in Speedcare Alliance, they will go through the rehiring scheme and be evaluated to determine if they are eligible. If they pass all the tests and interviews, they will be rehired and given compensation plan B. If the employee chooses not to or is not eligible to be rehired by Speedcare Airlines, they will be entitled for compensation, compensation plan A. Okay, next slide. Okay, so what are the compensation plans? First thing first, compensation uh, will be scaled based on remaining time left on their contract before the termination. We have two plans, plan A and plan B. Plan A, if the employees are not returning into the workforce, employees will be reimbursed 15% of lost monthly income over a maximum period of two years. And for plan B, if the employee, employee is rehired, they will be reimbursed 25% of lost monthly income also over a maximum period, period of uh, two years. How can we afford this plan? Hmm. Our financial standing in 2018 and 2019 are strong and can accommodate the reintroduction of the rehiring and reimbursement plan. We predict a return of investment due to the reduced training costs and improved work performance. Next slide. Okay, for example, for Aina, we will allow her to continue her position in Speedcare Alliance and she will be provided compensation plan B. However, we understand if she chooses not, choo chooses not to. In that case, she will be entitled to compensation plan A. HR and HR will work with her to ensure her future employment success. Either way, we will ensure Aina's job security and family support. Next slide. For the next step, we will make the manager briefing and team check-in. Although the manager has responded based on company guidelines, they will be revised to ensure it reflects the values we strive to embody. Okay, here HR will do three things. Firstly, review SOPs for managers to send complaints to appropriate executives for in internal investigation before suitable actions are taken. Secondly, review all managers' act of conduct and performance outside of the company guidelines. And then brief managers on updated policies will be introduced and they will be briefed on this situation to ensure that discrimination will not happen again. Nice, next slide. So this is the timeline to introduce changes. We have five steps. Firstly, HR will brief managers on new SOPs and appropriate uh, flow. And at the same time, EDI commit will immediately work on policy changes and benefit packages proposal. Uh, second, managers will check in with teams and discuss proposed direct leave changes. And then feedback is sent back to EDI commit to review or rework. After that, policy changes and new collective agreement will be introduced to employees. And lastly, we hope the EDI commit can introduce the changes by four months and the commit will review, review the policy for three years to facilitate changes if needed. Next slide. Okay, so for the conclusion, we would like to emphasize that we truly listen to our employees and we are committed in making visible and immediate changes within the company. This will be backed by our action in policy changes, compensation and rehiring, manage and managing briefing to create a female and family-friendly working environment, improve employee and public trust and satisfaction, ensure more oversight and guideline on guidelines moving forward. It is due to the hard work of our employees that we are one of the strongest airlines in the country today. Once again, we regret the incident and strive to do better and ensure that there will no female discrimination. Thank you. I will open for a Q&A session. Hi, um, thanks, Alia. 
I have a question. Um, okay, so you were addressing like employees who got terminated who might have been terminated for the same reason as Aina, right? But apart from Aina, and that's when you introduce the rehiring or reimbursement plan. Um, so my question is, uh, if you re are rehiring, do you require that headcount? And I know you say that um, it's feasible because you'll be cutting down on training and things like that. But currently, if everybody decided to go for the rehiring plan, um, do you have the capacity to accommodate that? And also, if um, if you don't, then how are you going to address it? Thanks. That's a very good question, and thank you. Actually, I'm very pleased to report that due to the success in our 2018 and 2019, we were planning on expanding our fleet, uh, but due to the pandemic, we have to pause that. Uh, but we're hoping that after the pandemic, after the lockdown, we can bounce back. So uh, right now, we think that this is in line with all the timelines and all the world events. So when we are moving forward in our fleet expansion in the coming years, uh, this also falls into uh, our budget plan. So it is covered. Thank you very much for that question. I hope it answers it by the way. <laughs> no, no questions from me. Are there any no more questions from the judges? If not, we're open to um, other groups to ask questions to group 14. I see Nicole has a question. Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah, I have a question. It's something regarding, I think, the second policy about the family plan. Could you go back to that slide, please? So I can double check. Sure. Uh, why is it so slow? Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's... Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, yes, the open entrance. Okay. Let's say it's encouraging employment, employees to transfer to the family plan so that we can spend a bit of time. So something uh, I would like to ask is, number one, is it compulsory for all as with the regardless of their age to tell you guys about their own family plan? That's one question. Second question is usually family plans doesn't always go as planned. So like even with contraception, there is risk failures and like sometimes you know family can have like something happens to family over time, especially COVID. Nothing is predictable. So how would your company kind of like you know face this uh, unexpectedly? And the third one is don't you think this will kind of breach into their privacy? Uh, yeah, that's actually the question. So okay. Thank you very much for those questions. Those are very good. Let's start with the first one, which is the compulsory age. So we're hoping that under the new agreement, no matter your age, if you are grade B stewardess, working in stewardess, you will announce your family plans, which is your pregnancy plans. This is because in uh, as a flight steward, you're not just working in a flight environment, you're also doing evacuations, carrying heavy loads. Uh, I think in other airlines, including Singapore Airlines, uh, the recommendation is first trimester. So the three months into pregnancy, you should step down from flight duties. So yeah, we will, uh, uh, in, a, in the next agreement, we will enforce uh, compulsory to announce that. It is for both their benefit and for us. The second one, you mentioned that things may go out of plan. So what if there is sudden pregnancy, even the uh, flight attendant don't know. We hope with this open and transparent policy, we will reduce the chance, but of course, we cannot account for everything. In that case, um, we're hoping like our male stewards can step up or we can uh, do job rotation, uh, either in, uh, internally do OT. If really cannot, uh, and it's really last minute, we could employ contract uh, flight attendants from our, uh, our partner airlines to kind of step in. But we're hoping with this open and transparent policy, we won't have to get to that. Uh, your, last, uh, your last question is about the breach in privacy. So uh, we get that. Uh, so it's confidential, uh, not outside, it's just HR and the employees. And we need to emphasize that this is not just a one-sided thing. The, uh, the company needs this information to plan the job rotation and also to ensure the safety of the employees themselves. And we can also arrange uh, any uh, parental leave when it comes to that. So it's both for the benefit of the mom, the child, and also the airline itself. 
So yeah, yay. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. And thank you yeah. for the yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, time is up for Q&A session. Uh, I'll give five minutes for the judges to deliberate the results. I'm Sharifa. Hi. Yes. Um, meanwhile, can I just discuss a matter with you? Yes. Um, I will clarify yeah, um, as well. On the okay, on the five minutes uh, reduction, it depends on the admins as well. For example, if you uh, repetitively um, make the present data to answer the question then we will deduct the marks however if you only like do it once or twice it's fine uh personally for me i don't mind so no worries on that group 10 group 12 uh please be assured that i am okay with it because i understand the circumstances and uh, the way that you guys handle it it's okay so no worries from my side okay group 10 group okay 12. i guess you read my mind thank you <laughs> no worries thank I you understand. so much for the clarification yeah, yeah. thank you Got me, no worries. Hi guys, meanwhile, I will require all of you to look at the camera and smile, you know, so we can take a beautiful screenshot with all the judges together with the participants. Yes, Sarifa? Oh yes, Yichen is in charge of recording and taking pictures. Go yeah. Yichen. Yeah, just smile, not too much of effort, yeah. Make your day happy. All right. Three, yeah, two. Nicole. Nicole from Group 12, please turn on your webcam. If possible, yeah. Three, two, one. All right. I will do, do it again because of, yeah. yeah three, yeah. three, three two, one. One, two, three. All right. It's done for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, just from my side, since we got time um, left, um, if the judges have any comments or feedback to the groups, so we open the floor to you, or else we can go back to the main room. Just look for the judging. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, um, Chris. Thank you, Group uh, Fourteen. I thought the presentation was very well delivered, and I felt um, you guys handled the questions from the participants very well as well, uh, in character and in role. And um, your solutions were fairly well thought of. So thank you for that. Yeah, um, I would just like to say good job to all the groups today. Um, I enjoyed hearing your pitches. And um, I think you guys uh, managed to think of the solutions, like the feasibility quite well, even though you had a short moment to think of it so whatever happens just know that you put in great effort thanks congratulations everyone um i just want to thank the judges again on behalf of the um, msta as well as the participants for coming to glc um judges you are open uh, to attend our closing keynote session by ybob yind uh, as well as the announcement for our GA winners after your begin speech, which is at 2.45 p.m. So if you want to join, please do join. We're welcome to uh, we'll open to welcome you. Uh, we'll be glad to have you as well. So yeah. Uh, does anyone like the participants? What do you guys think? Are you guys okay with this? How is your day? Is it, you guys are okay? Like not nervous anymore? Yeah, great. <laughs> We're doing to work together with teams. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Schedule. Two days. Yeah. I got a really good teams, I think. It's just like a lot, like a very short lunch break because you guys need to like submit and then you guys need to prepare. Yeah. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Actually, our, our teams keep our break just to discuss and prepare for the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a meeting until last minute. <laughs> It's like okay. using every second we have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's quite short. I understand. I understand. But it gets it's a really good like kudos to the admins too because it's a really good experience yeah. for me. It's I like the case study. It really opens us yeah. to look from a lot of perspective. And yeah, we did learn about trade union and stuff, financial. It was it's really nice. Congratulations, guys. Yes. Like, even though in the future we might not use this information again, but then <laughs> good to know that. Yeah. 
there's a lot more knowledge than uh, what we already have. Yeah, I, I, think, I think in the future, you'll probably be in some similar situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly.